What's going on guys, the Inhuman P10, I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Welcome to a brand new episode of Avengers Assemble, where I have a look at a character firsthand and tell you if they're worth getting or worth buying. Or passing. Whatever. Same difference. If they're worth getting or worth buying. Today we're having a look at the next lockbox hero in the series. That's right, we're having a look at the succubus herself, sister to Damien Hailstorm. It's Satana. Let's get to her first. That is Thane, that is not... Here we go, Satana. For those of you unaware of her history, while her brother Damien rejected his demonic parentage, Satana Hailstrom embraced it wholeheartedly. Trained in the Black Arts by her father's demonic subjects, she preys on unsuspecting men and feeds on their souls. After she discovered Mephisto's plans to harvest her life essence, she fled the infernal realms to seek protection from S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, she is anything but repentant. Alright. First off the bat, she's an infiltrator with some definite, definitely awesome skills. As an infiltrator, she already counterattacks everyone. She is flying, therefore she is immune to ground attacks. And she has Dark Pact. Raises stats when affected by Dizzy. Exposed, slowed, or weakened. And she has sinful thoughts. She has a chance to gain sin when attacking. Increases damage done while affected by sin, and chance to apply soul fire on all enemies while aff affected with bane. As you can probably guess, all of her skills reflect all of this. Fiery Fist is her first attack, and it's... Mainly her da- it's her s it's her primary attack, I'll say, not her most damaging. We'll get to that one eventually. It's a one enemy melee unarmed fire magic attack that causes withered on the enemy, which reduces damage done by 10% and can be applied three times. All allies gain slowed, which reduces evasion, but I believe boosts their defense thanks to her, uh, what is it called again? Dark Pact. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. Reduces the opposite version of it. So evasion increases defense. Or is it accuracy? I don't remember. It's one of those two. And she applies sin onto herself. Now, the Fires of Hell is usually the uh, move I like to start off with. It's an all enemy attack that has two round cooldown and is a ranged fire magic. It applies all. It gives bane to all enemies, which means they take additional damage from magic attacks or and effects, and applies melt armor. All allies get dizzy, which means their accuracy is reduced by 25%, but they gain a tremendous boost in strength, allowing them to bust through anyone. And she gets bane on herself. Next up is the Enthralled Guardian, which they still haven't fixed, I see. This is actually a multi-tool ability. Now the first one that's granted is the Enthralled Guardian, Bound Blade, which is a one enemy melee slashing magic summon. It exploits protection, stealthy, summon attack, and corrupt offering, which means Bane and Sin unlock more powerful summons, and it consumes both of those. This one applies cornered to all enemies, or one enemy, and all allies get exposed, reducing their defense, but I believe it increases their evasion. I think that's right. Yeah, seems about right. The second version, upon having either Sin or Bane, is uh, Raise Health, which is a healing ability. It's self-explanatory. It heals health. The last one, however, is Dark Invocation. Which requires both of them and is her damage dealer. As it exploits practically everything, it does some major damage, hitting all enemies with tremendous amounts of attacks. Since I can't actually show you the stats, you'll have to take my word for it and know that it is a powerful attack, especially once she has quite a few stacks of sin on her. To increase that damage, you can one-shot entire teams with it. 
Her final ability is the Soul Kiss. It's a one enemy, one round cooldown, ranged magic attack. And while it doesn't have some, uh, while it doesn't have damage behind it, it's got effects. It's a brutal strike, which means damage cannot be prevented by resurrection effects. That one enemy gets hit with fatal blow, defeats normal enemies with less than 30 health, and greatly damages bosses with less than 30% health. All allies get weakened, which means their attack is reduced by 25%, but I believe their defense is boosted thanks to her, uh, dark magic thing I can't remember again off the top of my head. Her herself gets Soul Drain. She restores a small amount of health and restores more health when an enemy is knocked out from this attack. So, I obviously have a definite answer for this one. While Satana is currently not available right now due to her lockboxes, I believe, yes, her lockboxes are unfortunately gone at this point. She is a definite get. If she ever shows back up again, get her. The dark pack makes her well worth it. The fact that while you don't have to necessarily nerf all of your skills with these, one fires of hell is enough to increase damage tremendously. Before I ever got a hold of Boshinga's blade or the psychic amplifier, Satana was my go-to for strength enhancement. Combined with teams such as Pestilence Beast, those two would make a deadly combination. With Dark Invocation, she can destroy entire teams, or she can heal your team with the Enthralled Guardian, raise health. Overall, she has all bases covered, from attacking all enemies, healing, the, uh, healing your team, or even just giving them buffs. Albeit those come with debuffs, but... Eh, what do you want? So definitely, Satana is a pickup if she ever becomes re-available again. That being said, let's find out why she decided to join S.H.I.E.L.D. In the Demonic Lockbox series. Let's get this out of the way, shall we? Yes, I'm evil. No, I can't be trusted. Yes, I will betray you when it's convenient for me. Does that cover all of Damien's whining? Good. He's right. My father is a demon prince, after all. Though I won't say I was born bad. My brother proved that if you're strong and brave and stupid enough, you can take the hard way through life. But I had a different path in mind for myself. While Damien ran away to be miserable and self-loathing, I lounged in Daddy's palace and learned everything I could about life in the Infernal Realms. And what did I learn? That it's just as banal and pointless as life on Earth. The politics, the backbiting, the constant bickering over the soul of that one. Imagine my disappointment. Then imagine my utter shrieking terror when Mephisto tried to extract my life force with an excruciatingly painful ritual. Sigh, and after everything I did for him. Loyalty is fickle among my kind, Agent. Our alliances are about two things, gaining power and saving our necks. With that in mind, allow me to propose a deal. Protect me from Mephisto and I'm yours, body and soul. Well, body anyway. Whatever you need from me, you'll have it. I'll even promise to behave myself, mostly. I'm not giving up the souls, though. It's not that I really need them. They're just so delicious, like cake. Just keep finding naughty boys for me to drain, and we'll both be happy. that eye-opening speech. Perhaps one day she'll come back like many of the other lockbox heroes, heroes that have come and gone. And until then, I'll catch you all later. Asa.